Field Driven Part at least again. Uh, it's been a while that I haven't done a video, but now I'll try to do more videos. Um, so this is a quick one. So the objective with this video is to like show a library that makes copying and reading files to the Azure Data Lake as though you were using the normal Python API to deal with like I/O, like input output, like to write and read file from the disk. So if you don't know how Python works, that's a pretty uh, cool, simple example. If I want to just write a text file with the hello world inside, it's just that. So I'm just I don't need um, just a study library is necessary to do this, but I'm just gonna activate my. Um, my virtual environment here because I'm going to use other libraries when I deal with Azure. Activate this environment, which is activated, load it this. You see that there is no files here. I'm just going to write a text. Text 60. Uh, this one is right. So I O, you see that the file was created here with hello world. And then if I wanted to read from uh, I O, I put the next example different file, but the file is called text um, txt, and if I run that, which is read from I O, you see it doesn't it works like that. So if you had like if you use the Python SDK that Azure offers to write and read which is this library here. Where is my, uh, this one. So you have this library here called um, Azure Blob Storage from maintained by Microsoft in the Azure SDK. So you have to pip install that Azure Storage Blob and the documentation here. Is so how can you authenticate your storage account? Um, I usually I'm gonna use for this example to create a, not a blob. I'm just gonna get a, a blob service client, which is a client for the whole account. And to authenticate, you need a storage account URL and your credentials, which in this case here are going to be your um, account key. Let's show the code in action, which is that one. So you have to have, um, I'm just putting environment variables here, like in my config ini file, uh, my um, start account URL and the key. I'm gonna use to the other authentication or the other library that I'm gonna recommend to make your code more Python-like. So what you do here, you have to, as I said, um, in this case, I have a, a container here called copy files. No, 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 sorry, uh, this is the first one. First, I, I need to initialize my blob service client, which I have a storage account URL and credentials, which is my key. And then after that, with this service, I have a method called get blob client, which I, I have to pass a container and the blob name. So I wanted to save a hello txt, txt file. And then I'm gonna read from here, this um, file here, I'm just gonna read binary. I don't think need. I don't think I need binary here. I think I can. Oh, mm, I think they have to open binary because this library ex uh, accept binary, and I'm just gonna upload the file to the blob. All right. So it's I need to do that, and then I need to use this method blob client upload blob. All right. So that's this one. So let's do that. Let's go to my storage account. So I have the container called uh, copy files. So I don't think there is yet. There is nothing there. So if I run this code, so Azure SDK, and if I refresh, files here. Okay, it's not too hard. So, but I, you do have to initialize this um, service and then create a blob, uh, pass all this, and then you have to upload 
whatever it's on the IO here, which is the uh, file pointer to my local file and send that to Azure. So that's one option, but a much more, let's say Pythonic one is this library here. That's what I usually use to upload the files to Blob, the ADLFS, which is Azure Data Lake File System. Uh, thanks for these maintainers that maintain that, which has got all the dependencies, which is the one that I um, said. So the one that I'm installing here, um, oh, it's in the top, this one, ADFSL, I'm doing the latest version, which I think is this one. Yeah, 2014.2.0. All right, so what happens here, if you see the load, that's the folder, you, I'm just loading that environment variables. So you have to initialize this um, object called FS, which is file system. And after that, it's pretty much uh, like Python. You do FS open, you open from your local, oh, sorry. In this case, you refer the data lake as though it was your local file storage. And then you just put like write at FP and then you just write as though you were writing this code. Uh, so I'm just going to put side by side. You see it's pretty much the same. The only thing changed here is that you refer the Azure storage, which is the container and the path on the container. So let's do that. The file is going to be called hello txt. What's the other file called? Yeah, that's called differently. Just so that you can see that's the other file. So let's go back here and uh, let's call it hello from a a d l f s. So let's run that. And then, so wrong one, this one, if I refresh, the file is here. If I wanted to read, it's pretty simple. I just go with uh, fast open. Yeah, this uh, AI helped me. So I do that. And then it's gonna just comment that out, comment that out and save. And then, oops, didn't say, say, I run it again. There you go. It's reading as though it was your local file system. Pretty simple. You just need to initialize your storage account name, storage account key, create an FS object. You just need to do that once. Once you have that object, you establish a connection to your data lake, and then you can read, write, delete, and do all other sort of things, which is pretty handy as opposed to the SDK, which is not too bad, but it's a little bit more, uh, the API is kind of like its own API. It's not, doesn't like Python, the way Python uh, deals with the input output in the local file system. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you liked the video, it was a quick one. If you have any questions, put down in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and click the bell. I like the video. All right, guys, see you next time. Bye bye.